It was during the 1960s and I would regularly come to see live performances by popular pop groups at the Stroud subscription rooms. Once I shared the urinals with one such famous group. Find out more later in this film. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Witts, and we're in Stroud today for a two hour walkabout. See what we can find and what we can show you of interest. So, Without further ado, sit back and enjoy. Stroud is a meeting point for the Five Valleys, located on the western escarpment of the Cotswood Hills. The town is noted for its steep streets. It was named in 2021 as the best place to live in the UK, one reason being its independent spirit. This is the iconic Hill Paul building, saved from demolition in 2001 at the very last minute as bulldozers arrived. Now lovely residential apartments. We've arrived at the Cotswold Canals, Stroud Water Canal running through Stroud. It ran from the River Severn up through the hills and joining up with the River Thames. Restoration's in place now with the Cotswold Canals Trust doing a grand job and we'll see more of it in a minute. This is Warbridge which is basically the centre of Stroud. It's where their offices are and uh, there used to be a cafe on the left hand side but unfortunately that's closed down. Don't know why. But uh, it was a good place to nip in and have a quick cup of coffee. Yeah, a fairly new feature. All this was, um, well, dug out, rebuilt, and opened not so many years ago. Eco Trinity across the road. It's an uh, eco friendly place, I guess. But the owner of that company, interestingly, owns Forest Green Rovers as well, which is a popular football club, now based at uh, Nailsworth. Sadly, currently they're at the bottom of the league and looks like they'll be going down to the lower league next year. Shame, very popular club, brings in lots and lots of people. When I was a boy, well, 13 years of age, I always remember my dad saying to me, boy, never buy a car from an owner in Stroud. And why is that, dad? Because the clutch always goes. Because in those days, the old type of clutch, slipping the clutch, and they used to, um, they used to wear out so easy. And of course, cars driving around Stroud with all these blasted hills, it's uh, fatal. Stopped to get my breath back after walking up the hill and looking in this handy bookshop. Seems to be full of books. If I had the time to look around, I'd go in and have a, a look. I must come back one day and spend an hour in here. Yeah, 
Here's another story from my youth. Driving past there when I was a kid, my mum always used to say, see that bank? Your granddad helped build that. And he's still looking a fine building. He did a good job, didn't he? more books but here we are in the Longfield charity shop a good selection clean and tidy taking advantage of this chair I find in this shop now a good rest call these hills play up on my legs and my chest but uh, we'll walk around it's, it, it's getting worse it will get worse there's more hills to climb I haven't been down here for a long time. See what alterations have taken place. Plenty of places to eat, a big variety of types of food, seems interesting, the smells are nice, if we had smelly vision, the smells are really nice. Here's another hill. I'm not going to walk down here because it means walking back up. Oh. Yeah, my poor legs. Little park area. Pretty quiet. It's uh, just nice to escape the noise and the hustle and bustle of people walking around in the cars, nice to escape. One step at a time, it's a oh, strode on its hills, but makes it interesting. It used to be the public library, but they've recently moved out gone somewhere else in the town, I'm not sure where but I don't know why they moved out but well, it is an interesting building and uh, next door, which we've just seen it backs onto that little park so, we'll just walk back into the town proper If you're up for it, I'm up for it. Walk up this steep hill. The only joyous moment is coming back down. But it will be a long climb up here.
I've cheated and sat on a seat just a little way up. Ah, look, look, that's where we've walked. Only that short bit, but it's a killer. It might not look much on the screen, but it's steep. And played out with my legs. Before I continue on up the hill, I'm gonna go left onto the flat and see what's along this side turning. I think it leads to the church. They're giving out blood. That's what I think I need. My goodness me, this is taking it out of me. Sorry to be keep moaning, but my goodness. It's a, woo. Stroud, Stroud is what it is. Built on the hills and the five valleys. Yes, you can tell we're high up, looking over into the distance, a valley in between. It's uh, more about that later, but it is known, it's always known as the Five Valleys. And uh, talk more about that in a minute. But meanwhile, what are we looking down on here? It's that park we wandered into 10 minutes ago. Yeah. It's back at that building I mentioned. The Shambles, one of the oldest areas in Stroud. The town hall dates from the 1500s and a market is regularly held here. Another market is held nearby each Saturday. My other passion, making models. Often visit this shop. Antics in Stroud. Visit them. Can you imagine what it was like before these streets were pedestrianised? Traffic struggling to get up these hills. No wonder my dad was wary of buying a car from Stroud. At last, they arrive at the top of the street. Not the top of Strahu, that carries on as you can see. On up there, but we are now at the top. And there she is looking down. We walk a short way down Union Street before retracing our steps and walking the long way round. Well, coming back down, which is in a way easier, but um, we're going to turn left here into Kendrick Street and see what we find. Some of these shops have been here for a long time. There's one ahead called Made in Stroud. Been there for a few years now. 
and it keeps going. It's my mate stuck in a window. What the heck is this? Can't recall seeing that before, it's a bit ancient. Someone might tell me. Looks a heavy piece of kit, looks old. It's climbing back up again. Up, because up the top here, to the right, is where they hold the Saturday market. Very popular. What a different story to what it is today. It's hustle and bustle. It's in there they hold the market. Many stalls on a Saturday morning. Very popular. They were here today on a Thursday. It's relatively quiet, but uh, different story on a Saturday. Hustle and bustle up here. All closed today. Stroud subscription rooms. Came here as a teenager to the live shows. Two shows I remember well. Lulu just got her first hit, Shout. Came here as a young 15 year old. I saw her live. Fascinating. If you're watching this, Lulu, all the best for your new UK tour. You're doing well. And the other group I saw and remember, the Yardbirds. What I, why I remember them is that I went to the loo to have a pee and I shared the urinals with two of the uh, members of the band. So that's my rise to fame. Here at number 15, we stopped for lunch. Thoroughly recommend it. Ample portions and at a very reasonable price. I have used this cafe many times and they have never let me down. Stroud Railway Station with a regular service to London, Gloucester and Cheltenham. Well, that's the end of our two hours in Stroud. It, um, <laughs> it's okay if, you, if it was flat, but those hills, oh, it's wrecked my legs. I'm glad I'm back at the car now. The railway station's behind me. I'm just waiting for um, the London train to arrive and depart. So I thought it was worth hanging on for five minutes. But what did I think of Stroud? Well, I've known Stroud since I was a lad, and it's um, it's, it's okay, but it uh, needs a bit of TLC, I believe. I always think of Stroud like one of the forest towns. Stroud in the forest, unique, their own kind, and I'll say no more, but uh, you know what I mean. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the film, and see you again next week. Bye. Thank you for watching my film. If you liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Meanwhile, I look forward to meeting you all again next week with a new film for you to enjoy. Bye.